everyone. I have decided to do a video that's a little bit different than something I would typically do for my blog, but I have decided to do a common YouTube beauty tag, which is called what is in my makeup bag. So I don't know about you, but I'm a pretty nosy person and I really like those videos on YouTube because I like to see what's in people's stuff. You can ask my sisters if they're watching this, they'd be like, Yes, she goes through drawers, all that kind of stuff. I don't know why. I just, I guess I'm a nosy person. I like to see what's inside people's like rooms and their closets and their makeup bags. So I thought this would be kind of fun because it's something different because everything on my blog is clothes related and um, beauty is interrelated with fashion. So I thought it would be something fun and different. So I'm going to show you my most commonly used products, the products I use the most. Um, religiously because I do have some stuff in my bag that I may only use for like a night out or once a week and I don't use every day. So these are my like holy grail makeup products and I will jump right in now. Okay, to start with the face, I have recently um, given Clinique a try. I haven't used something um, by Clinique since like the seventh grade. So I decided to give it another shot and try out one of their new foundations. Actually, I don't think this is new, but it's new for me. It's the Clinique Even Better Makeup in SPF 15. It says it evens and corrects. And I filmed this once before and the lighting was really bad. So I'm going to try to do this in a little bit different. And if you can see behind me, I call this my Phil Shrine. Hi, Phil. Okay, anyways, it's really funny because he's like right behind my head and it's just like his face. But, And I really need to change these pictures because some of them are sideways. But anyways, tangent. Okay, so I really, really, really like this foundation. I think I'll probably repurchase it again. Um, you're going to see a common thing. Uh, common theme in all of my um, makeup. Every color is going to be like 001, 001 nude, alabaster, aka pale skin. Okay, I am 01 alabaster in their line. This is really light, but I feel like it still gives really good coverage. I have recently picked up the MAC 1, I don't know if this is the 100 or the 180. I'm not really um, all up on my MAC brush numbers but it's a foundation brush with like the top is really really soft I think it's called a stippling brush but I recently purchased this and I really really like it it's annoying that you have to clean it like often but I like the way that it spreads evenly throughout my face so anyways that's what I use for foundation um, next I have my face powder and Oh gosh, it's like a mirror. Um, I'm using my computer, so the lighting might be kind of stinky, but um, who says stinky? I don't know. I just did. So anyways, this is the Clinique face powder. It has one of those, whoops, one of those little things where you twist this and then the product comes out, which I actually think is kind of fun. I don't know. I think it's cool. And this is in the color 01 Natural 1. Again, the lightest shade. Actually, when I was getting matched at the Clinique counter, she was like, oh, well, let's try the third to lightest shade. And then she was like, well, let's try the second to lightest. And I was like, mm, don't waste your time. Just try the lightest because I definitely was <laughs> the lightest shade. And she was like, yeah. And I actually almost feel like sometimes these are a little dark for my face. So I don't know what to do if I'm more pale than their lightest color. I, I don't really think that's anything I can control, but... That kind of stinks, again, with the word stink. I'm only going to do one take, so I'm not going to edit out anything stupid I say. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me. Next, I use NARS bronzer. It looks kind of dirty. I have hit pan on this majorly because I have used the crap out of this bronzer. It's my favorite. I've never used a matte brown. I've always used shimmery bronzers. This is the first actually high-end bronzer I've ever used, and I'm obsessed. I will repurchase this forever and ever. It's my favorite, and I recommend it to anyone who asks me what bronzer I use. I'm like, get the NARS bronzer, and the color in this one is Laguna. I actually only use this to contour my face because I feel like if I put it all over, then I look really, really, really bronzed, and um, my face doesn't match my neck, and you know, 
that's really cute if you do that. So anyways, moving on to blush. I have two favorite blushes. Um, the first one was a gift with purchase when I bought my MAC or my Clinique foundation. And this is the Fresh Bloom All Over Color 01 Peony. And what I love about this is it's actually a blush and then this is a highlight. So if you swirl your brush um, around the two that you actually get your blush and your highlight color all at once, which I think it's a really good idea, Clinique. Well done. And I'm sitting on my bed. I'm sorry if this is like really shaky. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one I would open and show you, um, but I dropped it in the process of making this video. So, whoops. This is <clears throat> the MAC um, Mineralize Blush in the color Gentle. And if you can see, it's like really bad glare and really bad lighting. This is a really pretty pink, but I kind of find it boring. Um, I like it for now. I'm going to finish it because I spent like $20 on this thing. But I didn't really like research which colors were best for my face. It was kind of like the guy told me to buy it and I was at the counter. And I was like, okay, okay, do I need it? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> and I'm kind of like a sucker for that. So that's just what I bought. I... I like the color, but I don't think I'll buy it again. That's just what I'm using for now. So, my next product is a highlighter. I've actually never used a highlighter before. This is the first time I've ever bought a highlighter, and it's the MAC Mineralize Highlighters, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and this is the Soft and Gentle. This is really, really pretty on. It is like Let's see. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a golden shimmer. But I don't feel like it's like overly shimmery. It's more just like a nice glow. I usually only put it over my blush, like right over my cheekbones. And sometimes I do the highlighting the C motion that you're supposed to, to do. I guess that's like the highlighting rule. I don't really follow makeup rules. I don't know. Anyways, that's what I use. I think it's really awesome. It looks like I haven't used any, but I've used it for like a month. So these things must last a really long time, which is good because they're like $24. So then moving to the eyes, this is my under eye concealer. I've had this for so long. This is the CoverGirl Invisible Concealer in the color Fair, of course. And I just dot this under my eyes and then sometimes when... Woo. Sometimes when I'm having like darker circles, I'll go a little bit lower before I put on my powder to set my foundation, which I didn't mention before. I'm I don't really need a powder because I'm not oily, but I like to have something to set my foundation, so I have powder, but I don't really need it cuz I have pretty dry skin. But anyways, that's all I use this for. And I think I've had this tube of concealer for like 2 years. Like this lasts a really really long time and I don't know why oops I dropped it okay next moving on to my actual eye products this is the boots number no. seven stay perfect eye mousse in hypoallergenic version um, this is the color vanilla I don't know if you can see that I've talked about this in a Thursday lately is a long time ago on my blog like probably last summer and I have used a lot of eyelid primers. I've also used the one that everyone swears by, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I like this better. I am a big, like, shimmery eye girl, so the Urban Decay Primer push Potion kind of bores me because it's, like, goes on clear. Whereas this actually you could wear as its own, like, eyeshadow. And there's, like, four other colors. This is $6, and I think it's worth, like, more to me than spending... I think it's like $30 to get the primer potion from Sephora. So anyways, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I think this actually works better than high-end products. And then I have a drugstore eyeshadow palette that I will swear by for the rest of my life. It is the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands. And as you can tell, it is almost all gone. Oh my goodness. This lighting is really bad. Um, so I use these two colors, it's backwards, these two colors as um, my eyelid color, I mix them, and then I use this um, color on the very right, your left, um, as my highlight color, and then I also put it in my inner tear duct, and then I use this color as a crease color. This is like a really good everyday neutral eye, I think these palettes are like $4. Um, I've used this combination since I was like in high school, 
So I probably will always have that, but I recently bought some MAC eyeshadows just to have something different. And I will show you what those are. So this is the combo I've been using the last couple months when I want to do something different than the CoverGirl. And so this is my all over lid color that I bought. And actually, I didn't pick out these colors the girl at the counter did, which I'm not obsessed with them, but I don't, I don't hate them. Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Pink Frontier. And as you can see, it's like a really frosty pink color. Ooh, you can't even see that. This is really bad, sorry. And then in my um, outer third, I, which is a trick I learned from her, I wear this color, which is like a pinky gold bronzy pink color, and that's called Tracks. And then in my crease, I wear this color, which is Satin Taupe. I know that one by heart. And it's like a frosty brown You can see that a little bit. Ooh, and it's really pigmented, and I just wiped it all over myself. Ew. Okay. So I wear those three colors, and then how I finish the eyes. This is my Holy Grail product. I don't think I'll ever use a different eyeliner. It's the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in black. And I, since high school, have always had a, um, a winged eye. I pretty much always wear my eyeliner like that unless I am being lazy that day I guess but I always have used this one I've tried like a wet and wild one and I've also tried a couple other drugstore um eyeliners and this is the only one I've ever really liked so and it's the only one that stays on all day all the other ones like I could like rub it right after and it would come right off which is really irritating because you pay six dollars for an eyeliner and then you can rub it off like what on earth Anyways, okay, so my mascara that I am currently using is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. I don't have a certain, like, connection to this. My mom actually gave it to me when she was in town. And she knew that I was out of mascara. But I have grown to actually really like it. I like that the wand is shaped tapered at the end because it really helps you get your lashes um, from the base all the way to the end. And this is in brown, which she has light eyelashes and lighter hair, so that's why she buys brown. So normally I would buy black, but the brown is actually pretty dark, so I can kind of get away with using it. <clears throat> oh, I keep dropping stuff. And lastly, for the lips, I have jumped on the Maybelline Baby Lips Bandwagon. These are so awesome. I know that I like raved about the EOS Egg, which I still love, but this is coming up possibly close favorite I don't know possibly more than the EOS egg lip balm I have this in the clear peppermint and I use this as like a base before I put on um, any lip gloss or lipstick so that the lip stain or whatever I'm using doesn't stain my lips the lip stick doesn't stain my lips well I can't talk and I really 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 like this I haven't tried any of the other flavors but I'm probably gonna buy like four more because I like them so much so I use this first and then the lipstick I've been wearing every day is a Clinique lipstick which I kind of hate this expression when people say it's my lip color but better but it is it really is I know why people say that now um I'm not wearing it today I'm wearing it a different color but I'll put it on so you can see it's the Clinique long-lasting lipstick in pink bamboo See, it looks a little bit more pigmented in this camera, but as you can see, it's kind of like a pinky nude. has gold specks in it, which I really like. And I wear this when I want kind of more of a neutral lip when I'm leaving the house. And then I keep this um, lip butter in my purse for work. And this is the Clinique Lip Butter in Pink Beach, which is a really good neutral. And it looks like that. And that has a lot of gold shimmer to it, which I like, but this is definitely just like a don't have to use a mirror, throw it on, good neutral color. So that is it. So that is all the products I have to show you for today. If you like this type of video, let me know, and I can do like hair products or what's my shoe collection. I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.